Hello and welcome to the channel. Well, I don't have any snow yet, but I do have some equipment that I want to show you in the next couple weeks. So let's start out with the new Toro 60 volt max cordless power shovel. Mine was shipped to me, so it came with all of the seams taped up. So first thing you do is cut the seams and you can see that there are some tabs here. So cut this seam, cut over here, cut here, pull these tabs out, and then this just opens up. And the first thing you want to do before you grab the manual is go ahead and grab the battery and the charger and get the battery started to charge. That way when you have the power shovel put together, you can play with it and try it out. So this one that I have came with a 2.5 amp hour battery. Uh, that'll give up to about 45 minutes run time on this. And it's less than 25% charge, which is normally the way they ship them. So grab that. The charger's right here alongside of it. Lots of bubble wrap. Get the charger out, go plug it in, plug your battery in, slide your battery on, let it charge. So it'll probably be charged up by the time you get it all put together. And when you plug your charger in and then slide your battery on, there will be a green flashing light that shows you that it's char charging. When that light goes solid green, it's fully charged. Let me go do that and let's get started. All right, I know you guys are going to ask, so I'll just tell you, I'm not working in my kitchen here. Um, I'm in a house that was built in the 1860s, and I would say maybe 50 years ago they put a kitchen addition on. Well, it's time to replace the cabinets. And I found an almost brand new looking set of Marillat cabinets that a guy gave me that's going to fit right into this house. So I'm actually sitting in a sitting inside in a living room or in a dining room, sorry, in a dining room and this stuff is sitting around. So you always like to know and I thought I'd tell you this time. All right. A few things of cardboard. Here's your manual. It'll have the instructions on how to put it together in there. More cardboard. This is wired, so there's a hinge point right here. So when you take it out, take it all out in one piece, and then just get rid of the box. And I have a cable tie to cut, so let me go get a scissors. I'll be right back. So in the box, it does come with a handle, just like a trimmer handle, an Allen wrench, though I haven't found the Allen wrench yet. And after you get the plastic off, you got a knuckle here that you have to put together and <clears throat> take the bags off the other. So it looks like the easiest way to do that is, can you see it here? there is a pin that goes in a hole. So, line it up. It's just pinned by hand. And it's a little tight. There, okay, it's in. Then tighten this handle up right here. Okay. 
use the Allen wrench to put this on. And since I can't find the Allen wrench, I gotta go get one, so I'll be back. All right, since I couldn't find the supplied Allen wrench, I'm gonna use power tools. And it is about a four millimeter Allen or hex, as everybody calls it nowadays. All right, before you tighten it up, what I sec recommend is that you go ahead and put it on the floor. And I think at this point, you want to adjust it so it's about the same feel as your string trimmer. All right, so when you reach down, you don't have to bend over very far to pick this up. Yeah, I had adjusted so you don't have to reach down. Whereas right now, I can just reach right down without bending over, pick it up. And that would give you plenty of leverage to move it around and lift it up and do steps and all that type of stuff. So. That feels about right for me, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten those down. Alright, one thing that I do like about the Toro 60 volt is that there are three different batteries that will fit in it. Um, it normally comes supplied with a 2.5 amp, but you also have a 6 amp and a 7.5 amp available. Over the last couple years now, I've managed to pick up two 7.5 amp for the mower and the snowblower. And I have two 2.5 amp for doing the string trimming and stuff like that. The advantage to me is that if you do have a seven and a half amp, you can throw it in here and you can run this thing for an hour and a half on a battery. So if you need to do that much work, it's available. That's one thing I really like about the uh, Toro 60 volt. Same type of battery compartment. Can we see it? Probably not. Let's turn on a light. Okay, it is sealed. It's not 100% weatherproof, but it'll keep the snow off of it. Look down inside, see your terminals, got your, your battery release. I had this on the charger now for about a half hour, and it's about three quarters full, so they say 45 minutes to charge, and that's going to be about right. So it just slams, it just slides right in and locks in place. Want to take it out, just push the battery, all done with one hand. That's another feature I really like about the Toros, is it's really easy to get them in and out even the big batteries. And there's plenty of room here for the 7.5. One feature that most reviewers miss on the Toro 60 volt is all of the stick tools, there's the shovel, the trimmer, blower, so on, all have a slot so you can hang them up on the wall. For example, this one is in the back here and uh, all you do is put a screw in your garage wall and hang them up. You can see there the slot is a nice big slot on the blower. So they're real easy to hang up. Everything gets out of the way. So that's all there is on the top end. Two triggers on this and a high and low. So a safety. Safety is the top. Bottom is the on and off. And then, the, then there is a high and low button here too. Low is nice if you're just cleaning off steps and stuff like that. Really don't want to throw the snow very far. You're just moving it off like you would with a snow shovel. Put it on high. Uh, it'll throw up to 25 feet. So let's give it a try. How's it sound? Quiet. Sounds just like the, the, the 21 incher. All right, let me switch this around here and we'll take a look at the bottom end of it. All right, so looking at the bottom end, 
It looks similar to the old corded one, but it's really not. This has a brushless motor in it. There's vents on the back side. Those waffle things are vents. Try to keep those clear of snow. And that keeps the, the motor running cooler. Round on top, completely different design for the impeller or paddles, whatever you want to call it. It's a lot more open. It's pretty close to 10 inches high. The uh, auger itself is six inches, so they say six inches of snow. Let's try it. That's on one speed. pretty good so I can see where it's going to throw snow 25 feet on the bottom of it is a replaceable scraper so it'll clean right down to the pavement and if that wears off that's easily replaceable just three or four screws and uh, away you go so there is a wear spot or a wear piece on it once that wears down, you don't have to throw the machine away. You just get that new wear bar. So, I like I said, I don't have any snow to try it with, but I I like it. It's not too bad for weight. Um, it's not near as bad as lifting up a shovel full of snow, that's for sure. Guessing about 12 pounds or so. What do you think? Is this something you can use? Can't wait to try this out myself. I've always liked the old corded shovel, but living where I have over the years, cords don't work out very well because the outlets are a long ways away. With this corded one now, I can do the front and the back. I don't have to haul a cord around, and I can even go over and do the neighbor's sidewalk with this. So, 12 inch path, that'll give you a 24 inches round trip, so a lot of, lot of your smaller sidewalks, are, that's about all there is, so. All right, so what do you think? There's a lot, not a lot to talk about this. Two speeds, slow and high. It's pretty easy to use. This is your safety, just pull this, off you go. And if you lay it down with the safety on, it'll start up. Fits all three bat size Toro batteries. And even on the smallest one, it's going to run about 45 minutes, clearing off your, your sidewalks and your steps and patios and stuff like that. I think this is going to be a really, really good tool for just people who have steps and sidewalks and patios but also people that live in condos or townhouses where somebody else comes in and cleans off your driveway and your sidewalks, but they always don't quite always get it all. And also they don't do your deck for you or your patio outside. So this is a real good idea for something like that. You don't have to shovel. Can you guys think of any other ways that uh, this might come in handy? Let me know down in the comments. If you'd like to buy this, I will put links to Home Depot and Acme in the description below. I do make a small commission when you buy through those links. All right, feel free to leave comments in the comment section below. If you like videos like this, please like it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.